time to pick up our Damakan order. Thank you. It's got our order and it's so delicious. So a little bit about Damakan, it's a really interesting concept. They actually call it a cloud kitchen. So it's a company that was a uh, startup that was from here in Malaysia. They give you a list of dishes you can order from on the app. So there's about maybe six or seven, or maybe a little more dishes. Uh, you can order desserts, you can order drinks. You choose what you want, and you can even schedule the order ahead of time. So that's what we did. It actually came on a perfect time. When it comes to mashups, you know, we're, it's kind of a hit or miss thing, right? So some mashups can be incredible, some mashups can be a little crazy. This one was just too intriguing. It's like the best of both worlds. Beef rendang lasagna. What? <laughs> so when you look at it, um, it actually looks more like a Greek pasticcio because you have that layer of creamy bechamel on top. But what got our attention was just those shredded lime leaves. Lime is one of our favorite herbs, aromatics. We are ecstatic to see that. And chards of lemongrass, I would assume. Yeah, it looks like that. It's there everywhere. Have you ever seen beef rendang lasagna with chards of lemongrass and garnished with lime leaves on top? I'm so excited to eat. <laughs> it's makan. <laughs> It's not too much noodle, it's too much um, beef rendang, which is a good thing. Mm. This is a beauty. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You see it? Alright, let's do it. Oh man. This is amazing. Let's get down with this beef rendang lasagna. I already see Jumi loves it. I'm excited. Yeah. Let's get down. Let's get that creamy bechamel bite with the beef. A little bit of the noodle right there. There's the bite. The perfect bite. It smells incredible. Why am I torturing myself like this? Mmm. I'm totally not used to having that flavor of beef rendang and lime leaves with dairy, that creaminess. That's really interesting. So I want to try also the beef rendang by itself. So this is minced beef, you know, classic like you would see in a lasagna or a pasticcio. Let's try it by itself. Mm. That is full of flavor with those lime leaves. Oh, those lime leaves are everywhere. So I like this texture. First time having beef rendang in more of like a minced beef kind of texture. Then you combine it with that creamy bechamel. And it's got the cheese here, but it's not too cheesy. I appreciate that. Like, I was, that was one of the things I was a little curious about was how is it gonna taste with all the cheese. It's a really nice balance of cheese, creamy, and then that aromatic beef. It, this really is like, blew away any expectation flavor-wise. It is excellent. It is amazing. Like, props to Dalakam coming up with this kind of idea. It's a fascinating idea. It's a delicious one. What I noticed too about this beef rendang lasagna, it has like a real home cooked kind of quality to it. And that is hand in hand with Dalakam. Dalakam is supposed to have more of that healthier home cooked kind of flavor. So it's pretty cool their concept. They have the in, they cook everything in house. And then they deliver it to like a food panda or a grab food, except it's just coming from their kitchen. It was a really interesting idea. We also have nasi kunyit. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh my god. Ayam rempa. Yeah, rempa. So we've really eaten our weight in fried chicken here in, uh, <laughs> during our stay here so far. We even made a whole video about delivery fried chicken from local chains. Check the video up out here. We'll put a card right here for that. Yeah, we got it with turmeric rice. Um, the chicken, oh, chicken and charts of lemongrass. Maybe that's why we couldn't find lemongrass in our local grocery store, supermarket, because they have it. <laughs> lemongrass is just everywhere in here. Um, the sambal, the pickled cucumber, the sauce. Ooh, it has to be filled with, I'm gonna do it like a beauty, or whatever. 
Uh, as you can see, ah, chili sauce, not on a beef right now. Yeah, chili sauce. The ayam rempa, you know, literally means spiced chicken. The whole chicken leg here, so you have that thigh and drumstick combined. Really nice. It's really, we love the dark meat, as you probably should too. So it has all these spices on top. You see the shards of lemongrass. Looks like there's a coriander seed there too. You get a, a full flavor of this. You just gotta go right in and eat it right off the bone. A very nice flavor, that lemongrass. Got some, some scallion here, got the coriander seed. It's not too crispy though, but the flavor is there. A nice mound of this rice. Get down. Mm. Turmeric rice is so good, it's so fluffy. And I love that you get the, the little leftover pieces of that fried chicken rempa on there. So you get the coriander seed, you get the lemongrass, you get all the crunchy bits, you get all of it onto the rice. That's how you get an even better bite. Try a little bit of this spicy sauce. It smells really good. It has that kind of fishy smell. I see it look, looks like shards maybe of lemongrass in there too. Sure. Mm. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. So it almost has like a flavor of like sweet soy sauce, like ketchup minus kind of flavor mixed in with a little fishiness and then the spicy. Combine that all together. It's a really nice sauce. It's like a little, little bit on the thicker side. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Adds a nice tangy crunch to contrast with the rest of the dishes. That's a really nice one here. Without further ado, it's quay time. We got quay. So I've actually had a crazy craving for quay for quite a while now. It's actually really hard to find on Food Panda, Grab Food. Couldn't find anywhere that sold like Nyonya style quay. So we were really happy when Damakan had it on offer. So the key is too, when you have Damakan, it's good to order the night before you wanna get your food because stuff will sell out. We've noticed that I was monitoring for a few days. Some of these would be gone. So we got, well, pretty much all the ones they had. We have Nona Manis, uh, it's the green one here that's made with pandan. We also have the Noramani's Durian. Our Quay Lapis. This is awesome with these Quay, they're so, they are really attractive looking. Look at that. And then we have our classic Quay Talam here. Green with the pandan. Oh, really excited. Now, which one do we try first? I'm gonna try this first. Hey, I love Durian. But if for you it's otherwise, you can try, but I don't think you'll like it. But I love it. It's got that durian taste, that coconut cream, salty, creamy, perfect. See how much you love it, makes you want to wait to the end to have the pandan nonamanis first. I feel we have a lot of pandan flavor here. I kind of want to stick with that before I get to that durian. I want to work my way up to the durian. I feel like it's gonna be really good. You really smell that pandan aroma, that coconut milk. I love that coconut custard cream inside. That coconut custard cream in the middle is so nice. <laughs> it has that little saltiness too, which is really interesting. Mm. I should go with the quay lapis next. So if you saw in our video, our New York City Malaysia food video up here, you know, we ate this like savages when we first tried it. But a lot of you in the comments told us, oh, you can peel it layer by layer. And that's what we're gonna do this time. So that first pink layer tasted more like rose syrup. How this one tastes, this white layer. Definitely has more of like, it has a bit of coconut, but the rose syrup flavor is really strong here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in for this. This looks like Koi a mahjong, a mahjong mm -hmm. um, stack. So, I mean, <laughs> do you agree? Yeah, the top layer here is more dense. It's actually heavier and the, the bottom layer is bouncier. So the white layer is a little bouncier than the top. Oh, that bottom layer, I think it's giving it the saltiness. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice about quay, the sweet and salty combinations. It's perfect, it's perfect. And not too sweet. It's time for the moment of truth here with this uh, durian nona manis. 
You really smell the durian when you get a whiff. Mm. You taste all that durian in here. It really is like biting into durian. It is perfect durian flavor, intense. You don't want to get an actual durian. If you want to just get a really strong flavor of durian and have it mixed with that coconut cream, order this, it is delicious, wow. Could be the favorite, it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's like packed. Great Dhammakan experience. Uh, we really happy with our meal. Definitely not gonna be the last time we're gonna have it or order mm -hmm. from there. It's an end. We got our savory, we got our sweet. If you're in Malaysia, let us know have you ordered Dhammakan before? Um, you know, we're not being sponsored by it for this video. Yep. Uh, we just wanted to really give it a shot and order a lot and review it. So let us know in the comments have you ordered from Dhammakan before? If you have, you know, what's your experience been like? What are some of your favorite dishes you order from there? And thank you to Puri and Sue, yes. Malaysian locals, friends of ours, yep. for introducing us to Damakan. Yeah, they made a whole video about their Damakan order. Check them out. Check them out. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys.